Hi, Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're told that the volume of the planet Venus seems to be 9.3 times 10 to the power 11 cubic kilometres. And we're told that that's 85% of the volume of the Earth and asked, therefore, to calculate the volume of the Earth. So let's do this in a proportion diagram where we know that 85% of the volume of the Earth corresponds to 9.3 times 10 to the power 11 cubic kilometres. So what would that make 1% equivalent to? Well, if we know 85%, to get 1%, that's an 85th. We divide by 85. So it would be 9.3 times 10 to the power 11 divided by 85. And if we know 1%, we're able now to find the whole volume of the Earth, which would be 100%. That, we're saying, is 85% volume, and the actual Earth volume would be 100%. So the whole volume of the Earth, 100%, if we know 1% is this, 100% would be 100 times that. It's 100 times bigger than this number. So whatever that number is, we have to multiply it by 100, and that'll give us the volume of the Earth. So let's get going with the calculator on this one. So 9.3. Now, standard form, scientific notation, usually there's a special key for that, entering these, and that and this calculator is the EE. You know how your calculator does that. So I'm putting in 11 as times 10 to the power 11. We then divide by 85 and multiply by 100. The answer to that, and it gives me a, in scientific notation, is 1.094 and goes on and on and on. And the little e 12 here means times 10 to the power 12. So the final answer, uh, volume of the Earth is approximately 1 point, now I'm going to go to one decimal place accuracy, so chopping a 9 off as here goes up to 1. 1.1 1. 1 times 10 to the power 12 cubic kilometers and that's to one decimal place. I chose one decimal place because the data were given as to one decimal place. It seems reasonable to do that. So there's our answer, 1.1 times 10 to the power 12 cubic kilometers. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.